know what it is. This your boy Get Stacks. Make sure you tune in to Run Tell That You Did. <laughs> We are about to bring a poet up by the name of Nefertikau. Everybody make some noise for Nefertikau, please. Ball game. He told me he was a baller, so you know me. I want to see that ball game. And I ain't talking about how he breaking ankles and how he hit three-pointers on some court. I'm trying to see how high his mind aim. Because a woman like me ain't with the mind games. I'll put the square over your circle and give you a mind frame. He acting like he wanted me to ride his way, but if he knew better, he would have known that it got us take flight. And these wings spread so wide, I'll fuck around and push you out your own lane. I'm a game changer, and I'm changing the game with precision. And I don't fuck with fuck boys, so my speed is sort of like moving through different dimensions. See, a low vibrational soul could never control how I shift these gears. I'm like one of the greats. I got the Duran key. I'm walking through portals tightly, sort of how fat feet walking in checks be. They say, in order to play the game, you better not have two left feet. I guess that explains how the Raptors lost to the motherfucking Heat. He said, I got money. <laughs> I said, what that got to do with me? He talked that plantation talk. He don't know he got a slave mentality. He need to vibrate higher. Because all that flashing, I just can't see. I look past the hard rock. I want all the gyms, but you wouldn't understand that because you rather focus on what you can provide outside yourself and you rather sell your soul instead of embrace what's inside yourself, which is royalty. He said he make moves like Jordan in game six. And by the licks of my hips, he bet he can score. But all that running game shit is whack to me. I told him he reminded me of Jordan, March 22, 1986, and with only 43 points, your type of game just ain't working no more. He asked me what this mouth do. I said, you should be more concerned on how my spirit move, but this mouth spit verbs, wordplay. But they don't talk no shit. And if you would stop talking so much and just listen, I could tell you how to get mentally rich, see? I'm like Harriet Tubman in the modern day. I could have freed so many niggas from their mental bondage if only they knew that they were fucking slaves and you want to be a baller of all things. You just don't know that you are a king. And since numbers don't lie, keep checking your watch. See, he forgot that Adam ate the apple too. So all that game you used to just lets me know that you're attracted to strange fruit. Because it's going to come a day when all that balling going to stop. And you're going to wish you had knowledge yourself and that ain't no shot. That's just one of those type of motherfucking games that can't be brought. Ball game. Mindset. Protest. But they rather us put our hands up, our fists down, demasculate our black men, treat our black women like circus clowns, but I put my suit on today and hope to save us as we protest. Laced up my boots and tied my hair up today, see? They want to chain and mute us today. But our ancestors done put in so much work, ain't no way in the name of their white Jesus that they can save us today. Fuck Jim Crow. They never wanted us to vote, state or local. They want black folks to move like dead fish and just go with the flow. See, we have been running the show. No ringmasters. We have been on our own watch today. They say black folks got a few screws loose today. Well, I stay on my Fruit Loops. So let me milk these white folks for all the shit that they stole from us today. See, Martin Luther King had a dream, but we ain't living in that dream today. And just like Mandela let the white man poison his cerebellum our minds, ain't on no slave ship today. Nah, we on another type of mindset. So this is how I talk to the lost souls on their level of their own mindset. Mindset. I'm trying to find where your mind at. Mind games ain't never paid me no mind in. I don't live by the clock, so excuse the way my mind is set. Mindset. Too many loose thoughts be running through your mind in. You might want to tighten that. My mind stays sharp. My words, 
will cut your thoughts like metaphors. And you can never mind that. Mindset. No fabric needed to make your mind clap. But I'll bring the audience just so you can see how a woman like me can give you a makeover. Just so you can make your mind up. And yet they say, cotton is the fabric of our lives. Why ain't that soft and I ain't cut from that cloth? The average woman can never walk a mile in my shoes because I walk with precision. And the way these heels is cut, they say a hard head makes a soft ass and you keep falling down and don't want to get up. So sis, tell me where your mind at. Mindset. Too many want to be a master, but can't even master mine and master's mind, even if they had the doctrines to master that. No robes, nor a hat. You can't even sit with a master's sack. Slave mentalities will never place you in the front of the line because slaves were known for walking behind the master's back. Mindset. And yet they say the fruit don't fall too far from the tree, but when the fruits of your labor never came free, what kind of mindset makes you any different from me? See, the hustle costs, but the struggle comes with the fee. But it costs you zero dollars to sell your mindset to another slave just to become the masters. P-I-M-P. Mindset. Yes. All right, how you been? I've been good. All right. Been good. Thanks. So how long have you been doing spoken word? Actually, I well, actually I started doing poetry. I started mm -hmm. when I was 16 writing. Okay. But I've been performing for like three years. Um, started at The Nest, former Lincoln Cafe on Long Street. Um, and ever since then, I ain't stopped. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. All right. What's Atchison? up? Atchison. Atchison. <laughs> <laughs> 1239. Yeah, that's what's up. So, so how do you select what pieces to do when you perform? Like, what's your inspiration um, by when you get to the stage? You know, I am an empath, so, and I'm a writer, so my mind is projective. Mm -hmm. So sometimes something, it depends on the person and the energy that says, I okay. need you to do a piece, or okay. can you perform, perform for me? And I, it just... The person that's telling me to want me to do something, mm -hmm. I, I know what I can bring. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of real life stuff is going on. Mm -hmm. So, um, I hate to say it, I grew up in the hood, but mm -hmm. you know. It is what it is. Sometimes everybody don't want to hear no hood shit, but you know, I want to talk about stuff to touch the soul that's from the hood. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? What right. we grew up with, what we had to deal with, what we still dealing with. So sometimes I tap into myself, mm -hmm. but it just depends on the person that's asking me, um, hey, I need you to perform here, and mm -hmm. I just take their energy, and I'm like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I need to just do something like this. Right. So, so what yeah. So what inspires your your poems, your um, spoken word? What, what inspires you? What inspires me? Mm -hmm. Life. Mm -hmm. um, air. I would say air, because without air, we have no breath. Right. right. We are not here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a very humble in a, uh, individual that loves the universe. So mm -hmm. everything I do is universal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Without the universe, who are we? Exactly. So um, a lot of things that inspire me is love, um, people's character, yeah. my walk in life, people's other people's walk in life, mm -hmm. purpose. Mm -hmm. We all need purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um and just, you know, just showing my gratitude for life in general. Right. You know, I, I'm thankful for life. Mm -hmm. um, there's a point in time I wasn't, I, I didn't almost make it. So, right. mm -hmm. you know, I'm mm -hmm. really thankful for that. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Compared to the uh, music and comedy scene here, how does the, po how, how is the poetry scene? Um, here, like in Columbus? Mm -hmm. or. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the same as doing music because I okay. do a little rap myself. But oh, do you? You got bars. Do you, do you want to Go ahead, switch the bars. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually did a, a track with my um, sister's husband, uh, uh -huh. Sneak Sinatra. I don't know if y'all okay. heard of him. Uh -huh. But this is one of, the, uh, uh -huh. one of the songs we got together, and it goes like this. They be sipping on that lean, I be smoking on my green. Ride with Sneak, and you know he bought them things. I don't got a team, I be with just me. 
Ball so hard like I got some fucking rings. Wheels on drip, you can call them wet dreams. Pockets caked up, you can call them Krispy Kreme. I be so keen, they be like, yo, what you mean? Like I be in a trap, but I am not a trap queen. He said he got that D, I will feel it in my spleen. I said, no thanks, I already got a king. Don't fuck with fuck boys, they don't got a fucking thing. Don't flock with you birds, so you ain't shitting on me. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Okay. Drop them bars real quick. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all the same. Yeah. So, so what's stopping you for for going into that further? Um, you know what? Because you can write, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I make so many moves. Mm-hmm. It's just you know my mind is so projective. I always want to do something, and so when I figure out I want to do something, I stop doing that project and I want to move to something yeah. else. Uh-huh. So it's like when you like got so so much talent, mm-hmm. it's like you don't know exactly when to when to start, when to stop, when to finish, when to do this, go back to that, do mm-hmm. this. So I'm always just trying to do so many things that I forget that what I started. So do you ever get writer's blog? I do. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah, that's life. Yeah, I think every I think every writer do it because mm-hmm. when I was yeah. doing music, I'd be like, man, I can't write. Yeah. yeah. How you get out of that? Uh, for me, I'm a very uh, spiritual person. Okay. So I meditate. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I pay attention to the moon phases. Yeah. So trust and believe. I collect my moon water. Charge my crystals, burn my sage, Mm -hmm. take my spiritual baths with my Florida water. Mm -hmm. (laughs) uh, Hey, Tula, you do that, Tula? That's it. Tula feeling that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. (laughs) So I tap in. Stay in tune. Tap in. That's what's up. Tap into your spirit. Yeah. 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 The higher self. The higher me without the higher you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I do my shadow work. Those that know about Mm -hmm. that. Okay. That's much needed for you to, you know, progress is a process. So if you want to get through it. You got to, the yin and the yang, mm-hmm. okay. the light, the dark. You got to go into the dark side to tap into the light side of you. Yeah. So let's talk about this because I don't know if everybody knows. You was in an accident. Yes. How? What happened? So this was like four, 15 years ago, mm-hmm. um, drinking and driving. Mm-hmm. Um, I love to drink. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I love to drink. <laughs> And I'll be honest, um, because some people like to hold back on their story and don't give right, the important parts. Right, right. Um, but I was drinking and driving. Uh, for those that know, um, the M&M. <laughs> they yeah, used to yeah. make sure. them good, good sure. drinks. <laughs> yeah. And I was drinking 151. Shout out. 151 was my drink of choice. So I used to love me some 151. Oh, yeah. So I was drinking and Never driving. Mean. I was taking a friend home. Fell asleep at the wheel. Mm. Um, I was right around the corner from my house at a uh, refugee where the train tracks is. Okay. Fell asleep. Yeah, yeah. And it felt like I was asleep for like hours, but it was only like a couple of seconds. Mm. When I woke up, I hit, um, I was coming into a semi truck. So I had no choice but to duck. So what I did was um, when I hit the semi truck, I crushed my whole face. Okay. Um, so I, ha- I was in the hospital for seven days. I had a tray. Had my nose done twice. They had to take both of my ribs. I was about to say, you can't even tell. Yeah. No, you can't mm. tell, but I have a pen right here. So uh, when they say testimony, I mean, I'm yeah. supposed to be here. Yes. Um, but, Blessing. you know, I never take for granted my life, right. but I, I know that after this life, there's an afterlife. Mm-hmm. Um, and normally people are scared of death, but, um, and this is just my personal right. opinion yeah. Yeah. that we all transcend, we all come back. So there's really nothing to be afraid of. I understand death Mm -hmm. for what it is. Yeah. Um, But, you know. (coughs) Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so do you project some of that from that uh, recovery into your poem and stuff? Um, I did a poem about um, life, about re. um, What was it called? I did a poem about kind of like reincarnation, (coughs) Mm -hmm. about you know life and how people don't really understand death. Yeah. And I think if people would really understand death is because to me, it's like when we have a loved one that, that dies, like we mourn so hard yeah. and we forget the fact that where we come from is actually death is a celebration. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. If you think about what's going on in the world today and we just so sad, but just think they kind of going into a better place. Like they're not here no more mm-hmm. in, this, in this craziness. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? So death to me is... Um, a real touchy subject because a lot of people ain't open-minded as to 
how you transcend yeah. and go on to how we have all these different realms and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people still stuck in the 3D. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, everybody more and different, and I respect that. But when you really on a higher level of consciousness and spirituality, you'll understand uh, the greater meaning of death. So, oh, that's yeah. right. Well, let everybody know where they can find you at. Well, you can find me on Facebook at Nefertiti Cal. That's N E F E R T K A U. All set, mm-hmm. Al Henna. Um, I'm on Instagram at Nefertiti Cal. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have my own clothing line. So my clothing line page is on Facebook, Comedic Life. That's L Y F E. Okay. Clothing yep. based on Egyptian culture. Um, check me out. Mm-hmm. I do sea moss. Okay. I make jewelry. Yeah. I do personal paintings. Okay. So when I okay. say I make so many moves, y'all ain't see me move right. yet. Right. All right. And they can find you on Atchison. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm on the south side. But you know. Okay, got you. You, you, may, you may see me on the south side. <laughs> All right, Thank you for coming to the show. <laughs> no give, give it up for Nefertiti Cal, y'all. Thank you.